Well, hello. Welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Gemini weekly love prediction reading for September 16th through September 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. Hey, if you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, fun, kind, compassionate, sweet, Gemini's. Show me spirit guys. What's going on my Jimmy's? Let's see Gemini's. What you got going on? Show me spirit guys. Six of Swords. Seven of Wands. Nine of Cups. The moon and the knight of swords. You move too fast, Gemini. Uh, that's all I can say. Whomever this man is that's in your life, you move way too fast. See, because the six of swords is leading your reading. Six of swords is moving to peace in the midst of the middle of chaos. This man brought you nothing but chaos. Nothing but chaos, women, money, I mean, just out there, just doing his thing. That's all I see with this. This is a man that just brought you nothing but chaos, nothing but chaos. See, and you thought it was maybe a little fun at first, but when I see the Six of Swords, that's the first card in your reading right here, that's moving to peace, moving away from chaos to peace. Here's the Seven of Wands that's here too, and the Seven of Wands is a card of, of, of defense, of trying to defend yourself. This man is just, I, I don't know, He's I just say trouble. I say he's trouble, sorry. That's what I see, trouble. Because why would you have to defend yourself? Why you got to move the cave? You, I don't even know, you just move too quickly. You move too quickly, and I'm going to tell you why I say this too. First of all, you're trying to defend yourself because it's hard to get rid of this joker. Whoever this joker is, it's hard to get rid of him, you know. But, you know, he's nothing. He's trouble, 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 trouble. Because here's this Nine of Cups in the middle of the reading. And Nine of Cups is about, he. you thought he checked out your boxes. You thought he checked out your boxes. But you Nine of Cups, there's one cup missing. And that's that Tenth Cup where you didn't know he was he was a, 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 a crazy. That's just what I did. Just trouble. Let's just say trouble. You didn't know he was trouble because here, next to this Nine of Cups, and in the middle of the Nine of Cups, is the moon. The moon can represent a Pisces sun sign, but it's also about deceit, betrayal, illusions. You move too quickly. I understand. I get it. You know, you're very, uh, Gemini's are very accepting. They sometimes are a little bit naive. Don't get upset. Don't please do not send me any nasty grams. You can be sometimes just a little bit naive. I have a whole family of Gemini's. I was married to a Gemini as well. You can be a little bit naive because you saw all these other things with him. And then you saw, oh, uh-oh, he's trouble. He's trouble. Not only that, the Knight of Swords is there. That Knight of Swords is reckless. Knight of Swords can be reckless. Knight of Swords is about moving very quickly. Very quickly. The Knight of Swords is about, can be about moving very quickly. And this man moved very quick upon you because he saw your naivety. He knew you were naive. He knew he knew he could he he could get over on you. Sorry, I'm sorry, and that's exactly what he did. But you came to your senses because you're moving to peace from the middle of chaos. Peace. He's trouble. He's just trouble. Give me, and you just had too good and kind of a heart to even deal with this mess. But you're getting out of it. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. I'm going to clarify the read. I want to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know about this. This man is trouble. Trouble. That's all I can say is trouble. Let's see why the six of swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the six of swords here for my Gemini's? Sit, stand back. Relax. Gemini's just give me three to five minutes. Why is the six of swords here? Show me spirit guys. Oh, ace of swords. You got the truth now, right? 
you were clouded, you know, you didn't know before. The Ace of Swords is all about clarity, the truth. And the truth has set you free, and it has set you free, and you're trying to get out of this mess, this trouble. That Ace of Swords is, you know, is about clarity. You're trying to get out. It's about clarity. Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Let's see. Ten of Swords. What did I say? You're justifying. Hey, you're telling her, look, I got you got to go. You got to go. That seven that ten of swords is it's over. It's over. It's over the seven of wands. Seven of wands is you standing up for yourself saying it's over. It's over. This was a quick relationship, too. This is this is like one of those things that you, you found out trouble. You're trouble. It's over. That's how it's just over. It's it's over. You felt betrayed, deceived. He was deceitful. He was a liar. He was a cheater. You know, he was out there. You don't know. You oh, you might want to go get tested. I'm just being very honest. It was like, ugh, trouble. So let's see why the Nine of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Knight of Wands. That's who he is. Oh, but he's smooth. He's passionate when he's there. When he's on, he's on. But the Knight of Wands is an energy of, uh, you know, you're not the only one. Knight of Wands is the energy of non-committal. Knight of Wands is that energy of no, I don't, uh-uh, no. Oh, he's definitely been with other people while he's with you. You, you, you know, he was. Like I said, you had all these, the Nine of Cups, you thought he checked out your box. He must, he might have had money. He might have looked good. You know, you know, people wanted him. He might have been charming. He might have been great intimately. All of that. But the one thing that is missing, he's non-committal. And he has plenty of women. You are just one. You are just one. And he's out there. And these women might have even called you. I mean, I'm telling you, this man here, he's off the chain. Trouble. So let's see why the moon card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the moon card here for my Geminis? Well, there's that nine of cups again illusions thank you spirit guys whenever you pull the same cards in the reading that means the spirit guys want me to reiterate to you um and to tell you and i'm right on my point whomever i'm reading for i'm telling you the truth um because the spirit guys are just reinforcing it there's that nine of cups again it's over the moon card it's over the moon card you know over the deception card and, and the illusion card that's exactly what he did. He deceived you. You know, you were very kind and open-hearted. You were naive on certain things. And he definitely deceived you. You thought you had everything checked out of your boxes. But like I said, the one box he didn't check is that box of, that box that you have that you see now. There, there was never going to be a marriage, nothing like that. But this, this dude is just trouble. He's trouble. He's just trouble. Bottom line, just trouble. Let's see why this Knight of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh, I tell you, thank you, Spirit guys. Whomever I'm reading for, you Knight of Swords again. I told you you moved too quickly. He saw you. You're like pray to him. You were pray to him. He saw you. He knew who you were. He he saw you. He took advantage of you. He moved quickly on you. He pounced on you. But that's okay because at least you saw. At least you saw. But yeah, that Knight of Swords is here. Thank you, Spirit guys. When they give it to you twice here, oh my goodness. What, whomever I'm reading for, you know exactly what's up. I need to say no more. You know exactly what's up. You know who you're working with, who you're dealing with. If you're not out of it, you need to get out of it now. Let's start at the very beginning of Six of Swords. You're moving from to peace away from chaos because this guy is troubled. The Ace of Swords is here. You know now you have cl you're clear now. You have clarity now. You absolutely know. Seven of Wands is here. <laughs> you're standing up for yourself too because look at this. You're standing up. Seven of Wands is you're standing up for yourself and you tell him he got to go. It's over. It's done. He deceived you. He betrayed you. All of the above. Because in the middle of the reading is the Nine of Cups. There was illusions. You thought for sure he would check those boxes. Yet and still, here's that Knight of Wands. Guess what? He had other women. He's been sleeping with other women. He's been doing other women. He's been out. He's trouble. Trouble. He's non committal. You move too quickly. You know, I'm sorry. You were, you know, he saw you. He pounced on you. He he thought you were you were his prey. He's trouble. 
Here's the moon card that's next. And the moon card, like I said, is about, um, can't represent a Pisces sun sign, but it's about deception, betrayal, illusions, cheating, infidelity, all of that. It, yeah, it's just trouble. Trouble. Nine of Cups is there again. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Nine of Cups is saying, that's what happened. You thought he checked all your boxes and you didn't see that one big cup of trouble that he had. And then you see the Knight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit Guys. And the Knight of Swords is again, hey, like I said, whomever I'm reading for, you know, if you're not gone, you need to really consider because you know what you got to do getting out of this situation because you need peace from this chaos. Gemini's are not the, they don't like chaos. They don't, mm -mm, no, no, come on. Come on, you, you you know they they are emotional, but that but you know but this type of message just not gonna work. This type of message just not gonna work. That not a source is there twice. Just to reiterate, you move too quickly. He moved too quickly. He pounced on you. He saw your na naivety. He knew you were naive toward him. He saw that and he pounced on you. This was he was not a, he was reckless though. He was reckless, but good for you because you told him he gotta go. So let's see. Let's see. Show me, Oracles. What do you want to tell me about this relationship for my Geminis? Show me, Oracles. What do you want to tell me about this relationship for my Geminis? Let's see. Let's see. Oh. oh. Well, first card out. <laughs> no. No. Trouble. Trouble. No. I told you. This relationship, no. Absolutely not. It says don't stop. Keep moving. Let him go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Absolutely keep moving. It says, oh, unlikely. An unlikely, it's not even unlikely. It's just move on. Move on. It says you're ready. Ooh. Wow. These cards are not playing. It says no again. No again. It says let go. Let go of him. Move on. Choose a new direction. There's something or someone better. That's it. Bottom line, it's up to you. It's up to you. You have to make these changes, but it's up to you. It's up to you. Move on. Remain positive. And move on. And I think I'm going to pull this card because I think it really goes to what is good for you. Well, there's two things here. I'm going to, it says trust. Trust. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust that there's someone that's better than you, someone that wants to love you the right way, someone that's not out there, someone that you, you don't, can't trust. And it's happening in the near future. Soon. Very soon. It's happening in the near future, and that's what I see. That's what I have for you, Gemini, for your love prediction reading. 